you have to be transparent starting with yourself. Yeah. You have to be open and honest even with yourself. That alone kind of just changed everything for me. You know, stop lying to myself. You know, that was, I didn't realize how much I was lying to myself. And so I think there opened the door for us to have open and honest communication because I know that's something you had gone through and continue to practice, something that I had yet to really practice and really got into it at the start of our relationship and have been honing it in, practicing it with you over the last 10 years. And yeah, I mean, it's hard to have an open and honest communication when you're not open and honest with yourself. And this is a, a theme through when I mean, you can probably pull, pull that back to the root in a vast majority of the themes we talk about. Yes. And I think that that's so key is we, it's so easy. I mean, we are going to say this a hundred thousand times as you watch our podcasts, because it is so easy to put it on the other person and say, well, you're not communicating well, or why don't you understand me? Because then it's outside of ourselves and we can, we feel like we can explore it easier when it's outside of self. But truth is nearly everything begins in here. And so if we flip that script and we start to look inward for that open and honest communication where we are being transparent with ourselves, then it makes it so much easier to be open and honest in our communication with our partners because we're not afraid of being challenged when that happens. Or when our family comes at us and says, I don't understand why you made that choice. And so we get concerned and we like freeze up because we're not sure what our family is going to think of a choice or a decision we're making. If we've been open and honest with ourselves, chances are we're going to start to explore and understand that aspect. Why do I believe this? Why am I feeling this way? What can I experience, experientially go out and start to understand about this? And then you start speaking from a place of knowledge, awareness, and experience. And open, honest communication takes a whole different route once you begin to do that. But when we sit in denial within and we start to say, oh, no, I was always either I was always taught not to believe this or not to feel this way, or we're just feeling that inner critic start to like and think, oh, if I feel this way, I'm going to be so different than everybody else. And so I'm going to continue to lie to myself. But our relationships are supposed to be where we can be open, honest, and playful and explore. And so we really do need to go in and go, okay, what am I lying to myself about right now? What open, honest communication is not going on inside of all this? Yeah. Why is this happening? Yeah. Why am I lying to myself? You know, it's, it doesn't feel good to lie, you know, and we can... We can lie to ourselves about it feeling good, you know, it's, it's, um, but the re when we really sit with it, it's just like, it doesn't, it doesn't feel right because it's not aligned. Yeah. And I know for me, like, I didn't realize how much that I was lying to myself because I wanted to protect an ego, a perception of what I wanted everyone else to see me as. And man, like I would do anything to proceed, to make sure that that was upheld you know, at the, at the detriment of the relationships that I had, because that was so important to me at least that's what i was saying to myself but even that to a degree was unconscious until i really brought it forward and i realized what i was doing i was like well no i don't i don't want that that's not actually what i desire that's a habit and that is what i've seen from all around me uh, of people attempting to you know hold up that ego of, of themselves that view of who they are and position themselves as this so that they're liked that they're accepted that they are appreciated that they are loved yes you know and and, and but the problem is is that all what you're doing is you're having people you know appreciate and respect and love someone who's not you 
And so if, if that someone is not even you, that's not even a person, you know, how can you live up to something that you aren't? Yes. And that was the biggest term. lie. No, that was the yeah. biggest lie that I saw, you know, falter over time. And when I realized that the true foundation starts from within, having that open communication, recognizing that it is, it starts from within, it starts from releasing those lies, allowing myself to be who I am. Then from there, whenever I talk to you, then I can be transparent. You know, then I know like, hey, I'm not hiding anything. So I can be free. You know, I can be joyous. 